So just a quick video on putting the structure together. I know that this is teaching most of you to suck eggs. Um, so normally, um, we take the structure up to the CAS site. One person holds the bottom end, somebody else puts the top end on, and either the third person or the first person screws all together while someone else holds it there. If we're short on people, um, or if you are avoiding close physical contact with each other for some bizarre reason, um, then it is possible to put the structure together on your own. It's just a bit harder and you need to be a little bit more careful. Um, obviously one advantage is that if anything, if any of your fingers get caught, it's your fault. So if we bring the stretcher together, starting off with the horizontal, we can do that. Now the problem is it has a habit of wanting to sort of sag apart so it's not aligned properly. Not a huge problem. We'll start off putting the bottom pin in. That's that's in. Don't tighten it up yet. So the top one, I'm guessing because of that massive gap, isn't going to go in. So we need to close that gap up and push the pin in. We need to do the same on both sides. We don't want to pick the stretch up now because we're going to put all the force on that hinge. And it's not going to damage it. And it could damage it. So there we go. Now we can go as you normal, go through, tighten everything up, make sure that all the pins are in place. Pin, 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 pin. Cool. It is possible, you just need to be a bit more careful than normal. Okay, so as I said, normally you can put stretch together with it standing up on the end. Um, you can do it, if you haven't got a handy person, you can do it just leaning against something. If you have a rock or a tree, it's possible. It's a bit harder because you need to make sure that nothing is trapped like that, like that was. So again, once you're in, put your pins in. And you may find that the pin doesn't go in. The general rule, if the pin doesn't go in, do not hit it with a rock or hit it with a hammer. It probably means that something's not lined up properly. And in this case, if we look down here, we can see that this stretcher, there's something stopping it from mating up properly. And as it happens, there's some mud on the stretcher. So clean that off, put it back together again, that all looks a lot more, a lot better. It is kind of standing up on its own because it's leaning against the shelves, something I still want to keep an eye on because I don't want this falling over and hitting me or anyone else. So as before, put all the pins in, that's the wrong way around isn't it am I? Put all the pins in. before you start trying to move the stretcher. Um, while we're here, when you're putting it away, put the pin in and put it in. This does not need to be cranked up. Okay, so finger tight will do, the pin's not going to come out of that. The reason I say that 
if, if you look carefully, the little dents here where the screw has been cranked down and it's kind of pushing in. So you don't need to do it up that high, just finger tight. So, yeah, it is possible. Um, be careful it doesn't fall over. Make sure that everything is aligned. The uh, two halves of the stretcher, there's nothing separating them. No bits of strapping, no bits of mud, no fingers. Um, and make sure it doesn't fall over, because if you are sitting there holding this on your own like that, it's probably very easy for it to fall over and suddenly become a problem. Uh, yes.